Hello artists. Um, so today's just going to be a quick video regarding the RC8 portfolio. In the title I have said it was my one was incorrect or wrong which is not entirely my fault. I finally so I sent them an email about all of the requirements and stuff that doesn't seem to be 100% clear on the website slash portfolio application process. So on the 13th of September I sent that email and they finally replied one month later. So uh, if you're going to email the RCA, uh, basically expect them to reply in one month or not reply because another email I sent didn't get replied to. But pushing aside their uh, interesting um, reply times, um, my portfolio is wrong because first of all, I'm not entirely sure uh, if this is a new thing on their website or if I was just stupid and I missed it before. But they sent me a link saying, okay, the, the portfolio requirements for the painting MA, um, they've sent me a link. And at the bottom of the requirements for that, they say, I will quickly read this out. Your portfolio is a showcase of your work as an artist or designer and can be made up of images, videos, or writing examples. Your portfolio helps us to better understand your application and allows you to show evidence of your ability and motivation to undertake a given program. Generally, we're looking for you to demonstrate your creativity, imagination, innovation, ability to articulate the intentions of the work, intellectual engagement in areas relevant to the work, technical skills appropriate to the work, potential to benefit from the program, um, and yada yada yada. Uh, so this is the bit I'm interested in. What was the actual format of the portfolio that they want, right? Because last video I spoke about that section in the portfolio section in the portal application process where I have the five projects with the four images. This is incorrect for painting. So even though my painting application has been signed up as a painting application, whatever system they've got set up has given me the incorrect format for a painting student. Because here it says, in this portfolio, please submit documentation of the work you make as a PDF. Now, this is, um, actually there was a student, I'll pop the comment up here, who said that they are applying to painting this year and their section for the portfolio was different to mine and they had to submit a PDF file. It was just a single upload to a PDF file, which is correct. So if you're watching, uh, forgive me, I don't have your comment right now, so I don't know your username or name, um, but I'll pop you on the screen. And if you are watching, know that your portfolio section is correct and my one is wrong for whatever reason. And I'm hoping I am an exception and that this isn't common throughout different, um, I guess, courses and applications because I was speaking to an illustration student and it appears that the projects with the four images that's the format of the portfolio for illustration students. So for some reason, I've been given the format for illustration students, even though I've applied to painting and I've set up my portfolio application for a painting ME. So it's supposed to be a PDF file, which should include at least 10 to 15 images of work and should be a maximum number of 15 pages in total. These pages may show how a work has developed and evolved from start to completion, in addition to showing completed or finished work. And the rest that I spoke about in my previous video and using a website such as Canva to put your portfolio together. Canva is amazing because even if you have all the different pages in Canva, you can download it as a PDF file. So it's perfect for something such as um, this. But I just wanted to give a heads up to anyone applying to painting or um, I would double check if you know any other students who are applying to the same course as you because once you sign up to that portfolio process, maybe you might want to double check if the format of the portfolio section is what applies to your course because clearly whatever system, electronic system they have set up is making some kind of errors um, in regards to what format you're supposed to upload. So, so I'm sure that actually last year then when I submitted my portfolio, it was 20 images, not 15 images, and it was in that project format. And I remember in previous years when looking at RCA uh, requirements and stuff, they say if you submit things in the wrong format, then they don't even look at your application. So I'm wondering if my application got rejected because I'm just completely uploading in the wrong format. But at the same time, it's not entirely my fault because I couldn't find this 
PDF file, 15 images, and the portal that I was applying through didn't even allow me to upload that PDF file. So I've sent another email back. Hopefully I'll get it before January where I, when I apply, but um, there is some enlightening information about the RC application process and what the hell is going on. I have no idea. Um, I'm hoping that they reply to me within a month this time because I'd like to know if I just somehow upload a PDF file to an image thing in the portfolio and just submit that and then they'll just look at that one PDF file or if I have to restart my whole portal application thing again, sign up with a different email or something so that maybe this time when I sign up, the portfolio section is correct. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, whatever. <laughs> At least I can, I've worked some of this stuff out. So if anyone else is having these issues, then hopefully this information is beneficial. So if you're a painting student, that 15 what was it 10 to 15 images in a pdf format so i guess that's 10 to 15 pages in a pdf format um, that can be kind of text um, images they want to see the process of your work from start to finish um, and then obviously all the stuff i spoke about in my previous rca portfolio um, whatever applies to and if you're also interested in about how the rca might approach kind of the critical thinking when it comes to our work. I did a video called uh, Critical Visual Analysis. So you might find that helpful if you're wondering how you should be speaking and approaching your artwork in regards to the RC8 portfolio. So with that, um, that's my information and my rant over for today. And uh, I wish you all the best for your own, own uh, I guess, artistic careers applications to degree or MA courses and um, RCA, can you please just fix whatever nonsense is going on <laughs> with your administration and systems here? Like, what are all the international students paying for, huh? <laughs> um, but uh, here is my awkward goodbye. Oh yeah, don't forget to DM me on Instagram if you have questions or comment below and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm still terrible at these outdoors. Outros. Uh...